most important mindset shifts that I want you guys to have. And that is to go from chasing instant gratification to go to delaying gratification, right? Because a lot of times on this fitness journey, the reasons we failed is because we're trying to do something that's short term, not long term. You got to change your thinking to long term, not short term. Anything that's fast doesn't last. That means, you know, fentramine, that means keto, all of those things. If it's not sustainable, you're not going to do it long term. There's no reason to start in the first place because, yeah, the weight might go down initially in the beginning. But in the long term, when you gain it all back, you're going to feel like crap and you're going to ruin your relationship with food. All right. So here's a quote that encapsulates perfectly instant gratification. Right. Don't give up what you want most for what you want now. So if you're trying to lose 20 pounds and keep it off, right, which is what you want most, but you do keto to lose, you know, 20 pounds quickly, what's going to end up happening is obviously you're going to gain it all back because it's keto, right? Means what you wanted most, which was losing and keeping the weight off, did not happen. But to what you wanted now, which was losing the weight quickly, did happen. Which means at the end of the day, did you reach your goal? Was it worth it? No, because you lost the weight and you gained it all back. Now you ruined your relationship with food and the yo-yo cycle continues. So what chasing gratification does? You want to lose weight fast, so you do a fad diet, like I just said, like keto, and then you gain it all back. Then you're on this yo-yo cycle, and you never really get to your goals. You never get there sustainably, and your mindset now becomes, you know, when I want to temporarily lose weight, I'll just hop on this diet, and then for the rest of the time, I'll just eat whatever I want to, do whatever I want to. You want to lose weight fast, so you do hours of cardio. Now, when you do hours of cardio, you're going to lose a lot of muscle, guys, and you're not going to be as toned as you want to be. So... Yes, the weight on the scale will go down faster, but a lot of it would be muscle. So super important that, you know, you don't chase instant gratification, guys. Like I said, if you keep chasing gratification, you're going to continue to do unsustainable things and revert back to old habits. You'll literally keep returning to square one, which is probably the most frustrating thing mentally. And it ruins your mindset with food, too. But if you continue to do fad diet after fad diet, too much cardio, then no cardio, too much cardio, no cardio, fad diet, you're going to ruin your metabolism as well. And if you do enough fat diets, you could really, really damage your metabolism, like almost irreparably. All right, you'll be, you'll become consistently inconsistent. So a lot of us don't realize that consistency, like if you're inconsistent, if you do like a fat diet every January, every summer, every like right after Thanksgiving, that's actually consistency, right? Like you're consistently inconsistent, right? So you want to become consistently consistent. That's why lifestyle changes over just these fat diets, right? But you don't want to be consistently inconsistent because that's frustrating and you feel like you're always doing something but never reaching your goals. Like you feel like you diet and you don't reach your goals because you're literally doing like a two-week diet and going back to your old habits, guys. You got to look at things more long-term, like I said. We all know instant gratification gives us temporary satisfaction, which is great. You know, you feel amazing. But then later on, you feel guilty and you feel shitty, right? So delaying gratification puts future you in the best position to win. And it may be initially, it may, it may suck initially because it's like, dang, I really just you know wanted that piece of chocolate or I really just wanted to lose 20 pounds in two weeks. But later down the road, right, when you've kept 20 pounds off for a year plus, you're going to be like, wow, I don't ever have to go back to a fad diet and you're eating more sustainably. You're going to feel great. Here's the reason you chase instant gratification. You're constantly comparing yourself to others and what you see on social media. We all know comparing yourself to others, right, comparing yourself in general, is literally the thief of joy, right? Comparison. So when you compare yourself to someone else, like if you're doing good, if you're doing better than you were, but then you compare yourself to someone else, you're like, oh, wow, I'll never get there, right? Not knowing that a lot of the things on social media, you know, Photoshop is really big. Um, and the, the normal eye can't really see Photoshop. I could see Photoshop, but the normal eye can't see. And there's a lot of Photoshop. There's a lot of BBLs. There's a lot of steroid use and unhealthy habits on social media, a lot of women who eat 3000 calories plus day plus per day, like Chick-fil-A and things like that and stay lean, they're taking steroids. That's why they stay so lean, guys. So do not compare yourself to others. The only thing I want you to compare yourself to is your past self, right? Because progress over perfection. So if you're in a better position now than you were last year, then that's great. A lot of times we'll say, oh, my gosh, if I just lost like 10 pounds and kept it off, you know, I'd be so happy. And then a year later, you're there, but you're not happy because you're comparing yourself to others instead of seeing how far you've come. Right. We see transformation on social media, but we don't see the effort they put behind it. Um, the real transformations, you know, a lot of them take, you know, consistency, at least six months of like real consistency. Some of them take years, things like that. Right. But 
like I said, a lot of people have BBLs or Photoshop and they're just telling you all you got to do is manifest. Manifestation doesn't work without a application, guys. So if you're not putting in actual work, you're never going to get results. Delaying gratification, guys. Like I said earlier about the apple tree, you literally can't have the fruits before you have the roots. It takes time for the roots to build, right? For results, it takes time for you to put in the work. You got to put in the work, right? You got to you're going to reap what you sow. So you got to reap, 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 right? You got to sow, 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 right? And then you'll reap, right? So instant gratification literally goes against natural law, right? Natural law is you put in the work, you get the work out, right? Instant gratification is like you put in a little bit of work and you get more out. That doesn't make any sense. You see what I'm saying? So make sure that you know that you got to make sure that you reap what you you know that you reap what you sow, right? So putting in the work is going to get you everything that you want to get out, right? But sometimes it may take more time, right? If you want to lose, you know, 10 pounds sustainably, mostly fat, just know in the process you're going to gain some muscle, right? You'll be losing some fat, you'll be gaining muscle, losing fat, gaining muscle. And we want weight loss to look like this, but it's really going to be more like this, all right? Results take time, just like it took you time to gain weight and build bad habits. It's going to take time to build good habits and lose the fat, guys. So be patient, delay gratification, and just know at the end, it's definitely going to be worth it, guys. Because we know what happens when we chase instant gratification. We end up at square one and we're frustrated. We feel guilty. We feel shitty. So let's delay gratification so we can actually get to our end goal and, you know, maintain the weight loss and keep it off.